This lesson is designed to help the speaker affect a convincing Irish brogue using key vowel and consonant substitutions when applied to a text. Most of this information can be found in the About More section of the video. The long O rises in pitch. Co-workers won't, saw, drove, poked, no. Don't laugh. This tourist had done his homework, exhumed every little known fact, exposed every conspiracy theory. In the American accent, when you have a long O, it tends to go down in pitch. Exhumed every little known fact, exposed every conspiracy theory. So with Irish, you're going to have like a slight rise, just slight. Exhumed every little known fact, exposed every conspiracy theory. You'll be accused of a stereotype if you do something too much. If you say like, exhumed every little known fact, exposed every... It's too much. It also leans more towards Scottish if it pulls way up. It's a slight wee bit. Exhumed every little known fact, exposed every conspiracy theory. Another change is that the hard R vowel rises in pitch. Excursion, farmer, word, convertible. The first lady gave us a tour. The tourist and I eventually left Pandora. And you'll notice occasionally, and not in all cases, OR endings are going to become AR, farmer, Pandora, sorry, tomorrow. You'll have that slight change, but not always. For instance, word. It's not AR, it's more of an ER, word. Another change that we'll look at in this lesson is the long I becoming a. Uh, I. Not entirely becoming, but leaning in that direction becomes I. Trying. While. Right. And just to contrast again, the American's going to have a sharp, clear I sound. Guy, outside, pride. But an Irishman, it's going to have a slight, slight tint of an uh before the I. Guy, outside, pride. And don't do too much. Don't do pride. I'm not sure they are either, otherwise you'll sound Scottish, but pride. I. Online. So the following is an excerpt from the horror novel Pandora 2014 Blood Drive. In this speech, a guide tries to dissuade a tourist from visiting the magical shopping centre. What my co-workers are trying to relate to you, Abigail, is that whatever logic you've used to justify this excursion won't stack up once we enter Pandora. We had a real genius in here a while back. He figured he could bring President Kennedy back from the dead. Don't laugh. The Taurus had done his homework, exhumed every little known fact, exposed every conspiracy theory. He sat right where you are, sipping coffee from this very mug. Articulate guy. How do we believe in it could be done? So we strolled into the Farmer Crescent Beach Mall, which on that day strangely resembled a book depository. Outside the box, my Cadillac became a convertible. We had drinks at Dixie Pride with Lee Harvey Oswald and Jack Ruby. The First Lady gave us a tour of the White House. I even shook hands with Kennedy himself. Couldn't understand a word he said with that Massachusetts thing going on. Well, the tourist and I eventually left Pandora, drove back to the office, and checked online to see if history had been rewritten. Poked around the internet. Know what had changed? Not a damn thing.